What is it about this Utah run game, especially that makes them tough to deal with? Uh, they have a lot of different formations, a lot of stuff that they can do too with their personnel groupings, uh, multiple tight end sets, or they can spread you out and run their balls. But um, they have great backs, you know, they have a tremendous uh, running back core. So, you know, it's a great challenge this week. Through six games, you guys are number one in the Pac-12 in, in scoring defense. What has allowed you guys to elevate the level of your play this year? Uh, more so just having the mindset of, you know, every time we take the field, you know, is to give the ball back to the offense. And that's, that's the mentality that we come out with it. every time we step out on the field is that, you know, we're trying to be greedy. We want the ball back. So, you know, as long as we get the ball in Travis and Caleb's hands and those guys, the utmost confidence. After watching film and having a couple days to sit on that, what's really stuck out to you about your performance on Saturday? Uh, probably just, you know, my, my – me just running to the ball. You know, I take pride in, you know, getting to the ball, finishing at the ball. You know, when I don't, I feel bad. Like, I didn't give all that I could to my team. But, you know, I would say probably, like, being able to run to the ball. It's like you did a better job of that on Saturday. What's that mean? Does, does knowing the offense will score points for you guys allow you to do the aggressive nature of the defense and allow you guys to freely play that way? Uh, I would say it helps, but at the end of the day, you know, we're our style is being aggressive. You know, we, we want to be the aggressors. We don't. We, want, we don't want to be the ones that plays on the offense terms. We want to dictate the terms. So, you know, as a defense, we want to play aggressive. We want to be the aggressors. But, you know, when the offense is putting up points, the way they put up points, you know, it, it definitely helps with the confidence. This has been a really good second half defense this year. What changes for you guys at halftime? Uh, not, re not too much adjustments. Like, more so it's just about everybody just buckling down and doing our job, you know. If you really look at it, like, it'll just be, you know, one guy going too far in the stunt or it's just, you know, us not fitting it right or something Something happens where it's like, we know what to do, we know where to be. And it's just about just be where you're supposed to be. Utah's had a lot of success in the Pac-12 in recent years. Does this feel like a game where you guys can kind of make a statement about where you guys are as a program? Uh, most definitely, you know, every time we take the field, we want to make a statement about what we are, uh, who we are as a team and how far we've come as a team. You know, this has been a very long journey since this whole thing started. So we're really looking forward to the matchup this week. How important has it been to prep for the crowd noise? Uh, tremendous. You know, I have, uh, last time I was at Utah, you know, it was an empty stadium, you know, so I, don't, I didn't really get a chance to feel that. I was asking uh, Gentry about it too, because he said he played there. So I asked him about it. I was like, like, what's it like over there? He said, it's loud. So I'm like, oh, okay. I can't, I can't wait to experience it. It's going to be quite the experience. You guys have faced a couple of mobile quarterbacks. Obviously, Ryzen can run a little bit too. Mm -hmm. What's different maybe about his escapability than the other guys? Uh, more so what I've seen from film, you know, when he carries the ball, it's kind of like he's a running back. Like, he carries it like he is a running back. You know, he has a, a tremendous, you know, he has a stiff arm move that he likes to do. So, you know, he, he's a tremendous runner, but he can also hurt you with his, uh, with his arms. So you have to be very careful with him. Gentry said you lost a Stanley in the race. Uh, he's happened? lying. He's lying. He's lying. Stanley, Stanley cheated. Stanley cheated. <laughs> but, but me and Stanley, when we came in together, he was a linebacker. I knew he was fast off, off of him. I knew he was fast. So did he win? No, he did not win. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are undefeated. UCLA is undefeated. What's the trash talk like? Uh, I haven't, uh, like, talked to him recently, but, like, I haven't, like, engaged in that conversation. But we have a family group chat. He just sends their scores in every, <laughs> like, every week. And like he'll send like the eye emoji, looking eye emoji. Like he, kn I know he's talking to me, but I don't even reply to it. I'm just like, okay, okay. It's funny. Thank you. Cool. I appreciate you.